Uh, okay, everyone, it is officially uh, 5.15, and BCTV, we're good to go? Good to go. Excellent. Thank you very much. So we're going to convene the um, special Brattleboro Select Board meeting. Hello, everyone. Um, John, was this meeting properly warned? Yes, it was. Excellent. Uh, so we're going to move to uh, the first uh, warned agenda item, which is committee interviews. Um, Catherine Turnis for the Developmental Review Board three-year position. It's my understanding that Ms. Turnus will be joining us via Zoom. We hope. Okay. She's not logged in yet. She's not logged in yet? She's gotten the agenda for today? Um, yes. She's, I've spoken to her on the phone. I can call her now if you'd like her to That might be nice. We may need to do that. Um, she's having... Oh yeah. Awkward, awkward pause. Yeah, I feel very comfortable. Oh, Peter. You? <laughs> yeah. uh, let me thanks. just convey uh, the thanks of Billy Strauss for the Simon and Garfunkel. Oh yeah. He really appreciated your help. He's a good. He's a good guy. Yeah, he's so good. it's uh, Tim. And I. Yes, he does. And I sat down on the second row, and guess who was right in front of me? I, I, it's, my, it's my fault. I didn't <laughs> say that you were. Was it Simon? Full Simon Garfunkel? Or no. Garfunkel? No, <laughs> it was a reincarnation, what do you call it? Like a, a tribute band. band. The, the yes. tribute. It went so Paul Simon. I heard it was really good. Not that long ago. Yeah. Uh, all right, we're going to take a brief recess. Okay, so uh, we're going to reconvene the Brattleboro Slide Board meeting, BCTV. Do you want to get her on the phone first? Good. No. Right. No. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, we think, seem to have some technical difficulties, so we're just going to try one more way to get um, our last candidate for the DRB interviews um, by um, phone. So I'm going to dial her right now and put her on speaker. I think that this is... High risk strategy. I love it. Do we need the mic to be... Hi, Catherine. Yes. Hi, have, are you able to join us on Zoom? I'm sitting here looking and I don't have a link. How am I going to do that? Okay. I think we're just going to conduct the uh, interview by phone right here, if that works for you. Yeah, fine. Okay. So um, we've all reviewed your application. Wait, wait a second. BCTVS. Okay. Just phone up to the mic. Okay. Uh, Catherine, we're just working on making sure that BCTV can pick up your um, audio because we're doing this in a little bit of a non-traditional format. But uh, to ensure that everyone who has applied has an opportunity to be interviewed, uh, I'm happy to oblige. So um, uh, the select board has had an opportunity to review your application, but in case um, uh, any of us don't know you, uh, we'd like to give you an opportunity to very briefly just tell us anything else about yourself that wouldn't have been in the application you think would be important for us uh, to know. Okay. So I'm asking, is there anything else uh, beyond the application about yourself that you'd like to tell the select board? You, you're on speakerphone with the rest of the select board here. Okay. Um, sorry, I can't. I, mean, I have the link on my email. I looked and it's not there. Um, I don't know. I guess I've been on. I've been with the uh, DRB for quite a while. Um, I enjoy it. It's one of, to me, a very important board. Uh, we make some really, we make some important decisions on the growth of the town uh, and protecting. Um, environmentally protecting it from, you know, unnecessary building. Anything else? Uh, no, that's a, that's a fine first uh, answer. My second question, so we had a couple questions for the other candidates, and we'd like to ask the same questions for all of them. So my second question was just, um, what do you think is the most important decision that the DRB has made in the last year uh, since you've been on? Oh. I know. I mean, I can't come up with a, a specific uh, case number. Um, I 
I suppose I would have to go over the note, the minutes and everything to, to figure that out, but I would have to say just about every case, that, every application that comes before us is important. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, my final question was, and the reason I'm the only one asking these, Catherine, is because uh, at the other the other uh, candidates' interviews, I was the only one who asked the questions. Um, so that's the only reason why. And I'll make sure to ask the board if they have any uh, follow-up questions at the end. My last question that I asked the other candidates was simply um, the Developmental Review Board is a quasi-judicial body that requires um, pretty um, – uh, extensive knowledge of the bylaws um, to be able to participate fully. Um, given that you've been on the board for a number of years, um, I would assume that that's not an issue for you, but is that something that um, has been difficult or do you find that you're able to participate fully in the meetings? Oh, not at all. I mean, I... Being as somebody who is a chair of one board in town and, and been on several, a couple other boards in the past, um, to me, to the DRB, it, it, it makes sense um, because it is run um, very efficiently and um, following of the ordinances in our town. I mean, it's just... just <coughs> There's a lot in our decision, having somebody um, wanting to build in our town or change, uh, you know, a site. And uh, we look at everything. We look at every single thing, that it, how it will affect the neighbors and the town itself. So, no, I see no hindrance in dealing, you know, with the way the board is run at all. Excellent. Um, I'm going to just look to my other board members. Uh, any follow-up questions, I will pass the phone to you, and you can hold it up to the microphone uh, if you have any. Uh, Catherine, I'm looking around. I don't see any follow-up questions. So uh, apologize for the um, technical difficulties, but I'm really glad that we were able to get you on. So um, thank you very much for your application for another term on the DRB. Thank you very much for all of uh, the years that you've already served the town. Uh, in that capacity, and um, we're going to make a vote on the four applicants for the three positions uh, for the three-year DRB seats, uh, and then the um, everyone will be notified in the morning uh, who's been appointed. Terrific. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Have a great night. You too. Okay. So we're going to move on to, this feels like just the Ian show at the moment. <laughs> uh, we're going to move on to agenda item, uh, unfinished business A, committee appointments. So we have one uh, committee uh, for appointments, which is the DRB, which we just conducted our last interview on. So we have four applicants. That's Gary Stroud, Tim Wessel, Catherine Turnis, and Jordan Laughlin. Uh, board, are you familiar enough with the process for appointments, or shall I walk us through it briefly? Thoughts? I think it I understand it. Okay, very briefly. Uh, so we, I asked for nominations from all the board members. Um, once I've heard from everybody, if, uh, and that we close nominations, you, we don't have to nominate everybody. You don't have to nominate anybody. Uh, once the nominations are closed, then we vote. There are three seats and four applicants. If we nominate all four, then we'll need to vote and uh, we'll basically go through. And as if there's a majority of the board that appoints um, three in the first round, then those three people will go. But you can vote as many times as you want for as many applicants as you want. So if you vote for all four and everybody votes for all four, then we'll have five votes for all four and we'll do another round and we'll vote again. And we'll continue to do that until we complete, we, we have a slate of candidates that have the majority of the board, which is in only three of them. Does that, does that make sense? Yes, Daniel. I believe the, the nominations are taken, the votes are taken in order of nomination. Correct. Uh, so theoretically, you could uh, uh, nominate four people and you could, in a round of voting, 
get to the third and not to the fourth because you've uh, the first three have gotten um, the the. Actually, no, we would do all four. Yeah. yeah, so it doesn't really matter. We we vote all four. I apologize, uh, but it does take in order of nominations for what we vote on. Uh, I didn't do a great job at that, but generally speaking, okay. So in that case, uh, I'm going to open up nominations for the DRB three-year seat. Um, board members, nominations, just raise your hand. Daniel. I nominate Tim Wessel. Tim Wessel. Right. Other nominations? Um, Peter. Nominate Gary Stroud. Gary Stroud. Board members, any other nominations? Liz. I nominate Catherine Turns. Liz has nominated Catherine. And any other nominations? I nominate Jordan Lafland. Great. We have four nominations, Tim, Gary, Catherine, and Jordan. Uh, board, we're going to um, commence with the voting then. So all those in favor of appointing Tim Wessel to the select board, indicate with an aye. Select board. Or sorry, I'm sorry, to the uh, DR, DRB, Development Reboard Board. So that's five votes. Um, aye. Uh, Gary Stroud. It's going to be zero. Or is that one? One. Okay. One. Uh, Catherine Turnis. It's going to be three. And Jordan Laughlin. Aye. It's going to be four. Okay, so uh, after the first uh, round of voting, we have uh, five for Tim, three for Catherine, and four for Jordan. That will be three nominations for the three seats. Thank you, everyone, for your applications, uh, and we really appreciate your time that you're willing to volunteer for the town of Brattleboro. Um, and I'll just look to John that everyone will be notified tomorrow. Yes, we'll notify them tomorrow morning. Thank you, and I specifically thank you, Jessica yes. Stickler, for her work in getting all of this organized. Really appreciate it. With that, we're going to move on to, um, yes, uh, uh, myself making a motion to uh, enter into executive session. Board, this is one of the uh, executive sessions that requires two motions. So my, I'm first going to move to find that premature public knowledge regarding contracts with EMS providers would clearly place the town at a substantial disadvantage because the select board risks disclosing its negotiation strategy with EMS providers if it discusses the proposed items in public. Uh, is there any discussion on that first item? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 That's going to carry 5-0. In that case, um, I also move that we enter into executive session to discuss contracts, the negoti negotiating or securing of real estate purchase or lease options, and the appointment or employment or evaluation of a public officer or employee under the provisions of Title I, Section 313A1A, and that invited into the executive sessions are the town manager, the assistant town manager, the town attorney, the fire chief, the finance director, the assistant police chief, and the police chief. Um, did I miss anybody? I don't think so. Uh, board, any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? All right. Uh, it's going to carry 5-0. We're going to recess to the executive session to take no action.